Peace to Nowhere Land. To Nowhere Land. Come along if you can. Hey ho, come on, let's go to Nowhere Land. With Maggie and the Ferocious Beast. Great googly moogly. Guess who's coming to visit? <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> Hamilton! The table looks beautiful! Please, Beast, try to stay out of the way. I have a lot to do. Hamilton? Yes? You forgot the cake. Cake? Oh my! I forgot the cake! It has to be a special cake. What kind of special cake had you in mind? Well, we could make a cake that looks just like me. Oh, all right. Oh, Hamilton, I'm so excited. I've never met my cousin, Reggie Van Beest. Well, Maggie should be bringing him along any minute. I wonder if he'll look like me. Well, there's bound to be a family resemblance. I wish I had a gift for him. But I can't think of anything. What are you talking about? You weren't listening. I said I wish I had a gift for him. Oh. Perhaps I could bake him a cake to take home. How about giving him one of my spots? I don't think so. He probably has spots of his own. Hamilton? Yes? Suppose he doesn't like me. Good gracious, why wouldn't he like you? As I've told you so many times, you are a very likable fellow. I don't believe it. Amazing! Hi, Hamilton. Hi, Beast. This is Reggie, your cousin. Hello, Cousin Reggie. I'm happy to finally meet you. <laughs> cousin Ferocious, what a strange-looking fellow. Your spots are all red, unlike mine, which are yellow. Huh? And I'm Hamilton Hawks. Welcome. I'll tell you once, and I won't repeat a list of foods I will not eat. Anything made with pumpkins is out, along with hot dogs and sauerkraut. Do you mean you don't like pumpkins? I'll be happy to prepare something special for you, if you'll tell me what you'd like. I'm really not very hard to please. Something simple like a bowl of carrots and peas. Well, I'd be delighted. Excuse me while I pick some fresh from the garden. Reggie, would you like to play ball? Great googly moogly. Good idea, Maggie. Hmm. Throw it to me. Here, Reggie. You catch it first. <laughs> You broke it. I didn't want to play anyway. But that was Maggie's beautiful new beach ball. Oh, Beast, don't worry about it. It's quite all right, Reggie. <coughs> oh, Cousin Reggie, you ruined Hamilton's lovely table. Sorry, but they were only wildflowers. They grow like weeds. Reggie's right, Beast. It doesn't matter. Lunch will be ready in a few minutes. But first, I want to take a picture. What happened? I'm allergic to weeds. Well, really? Hmm. Hamilton. Oh, that's too bad, Reggie. Now, let's get this picture taken. Beast, stand here next to Reggie and me. Oh, all right. Don't take all day, Hamilton. Ha! Cheese! Cheese! Got it! Now, it's time for lunch. Take your places at the table and I'll serve the food. Why are you and Hamilton being so nice to Reggie? He's rather unpleasant. He's your cousin and our guest. Come along, Reggie. Please sit here. <sighs> Hamilton, that was delicious. Yes, 
That pumpkin souffle was unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you. And how were your carrots and peas, Reggie? A bit overdone, but I was hungry. Now it's time for dessert. I made it in honor of Reggie's visit. Oh, Hamilton, it's beautiful. You've outdone yourself, Hamilton. Too bad it's the wrong color. Hmm. Um, let's play a game. Okay, I'll clear the table. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Stop it, Reggie! Stop it! Turn off that hose, Reggie! You're getting us wet! <laughs> Cousin Ferocious, from the way you spoke, it's clear that you can't take a joke. I didn't think it was very funny. Reggie just wanted to have a little fun, Beast. Hmm. Reggie, here's the photo I just snapped. It's for you to take home. I guess this means you'd like me to go? It is getting late and you do have a long way to travel. This is usually the way a visit ends. I'm a ferocious beast without any friends. Reggie, there's something you should know. I think you acted rudely today and you weren't very nice to my friends. Oh. Well, before I go, there's something you should know. <clears throat> I think you are an outstanding fellow, even though your spots aren't yellow. Oh. Thank you, Reggie. I'll show you the way out of Nowhere Land. I'll find the way out on my own. I don't mind going home alone. Bye. Bye, Reggie. Goodbye. Don't feel bad, dear beast. <laughs> I felt bad because it seemed as if you liked Reggie better than me. But now I feel bad because I feel sorry for Reggie. <sniffs> he doesn't have many friends. Well, he was rude when he knocked down my flowers. And he has no manners. He did burst my beach ball. I think maybe we should invite him again soon. What do you think, Hamilton? Hmm. I think we could do that. Great googly moogly. Thank you. The Lonesome Traveler. Thank you for teaching me to knit. It's so relaxing. Yes. It is, isn't it? Great googly moogly. What are those long, skinny things you're making? They're thingamajigs. <laughs> thingamajigs? What are thingamajigs? <laughs> They're long, skinny, knitted things that don't have another name. <laughs> oh, Maggie, that's so funny. I don't think it's funny. You don't think thingamajig is a funny name? No. And would you mind telling me what your thingamajigs are used for? We'll think of something. Yes. And in the meantime, we're learning to knit. See, these are knitting needles. You use them to knit the wool together. Well, I think it's silly. Don't be cross, Beast, just because you can't knit. I beg your pardon. I could knit if I set my mind to it. <laughs> But I think I'll take a walk instead. That's nice. <gasps> Maggie, I think I dropped a stitch. Here, let me fix that for you. I'm going now. I may be gone most of the day. Have a nice time. I will. Bye, Beast. <sighs> I don't much like exploring by myself. I wonder where I am. 
Nothing looks familiar. What's that? It's coming from beyond that hill. <gasps> this must be Turkey Town! Maggie? Hmm? These thingamajigs are getting awfully long. Boy, they sure are. But let's just keep knitting. I'm enjoying it so much. Maggie, I just realized we knitted right through lunch. How about some grilled cheese sandwiches? Sounds great. I was in Cheese Town yesterday, and I got some lovely Swiss cheese. And for dessert, we'll have peaches. Hamilton? Yes? I wonder where the beast is. This is a very handsome turkey. I like his hat. I guess this must be the founder of Turkey Town. Would you like to play a game? A game! A game! Hide and go seek? I'll go and hide, then you try to find me. No, no, no! You can't follow me! Stay here! Here! Oh my! I think I'm late for lunch. I have to go now. Goodbye! I'm sorry, but you can't follow me. I'm going home now. I go. You stay. That was delicious, Hamilton. I can't wait to get back to my knitting. Me too, but I do wish we were working on something useful. What's that? Maggie! Hamilton! I don't know what to do! They just keep following me! Green tangerines! By the looks of things, you must have visited Turkey Town! Oops! I did! But they won't leave me alone! We'll just have to take them back! Hamilton, bring those thingamajigs! Hooey! That's a very impressive statue. <gasps> Are you all right? May I have your attention, please? We're going now. You must stay here. Hurry, beast. You have to stay here. Please, don't follow us. Maggie, Hamilton, they're doing it again! <laughs> Do either of you have any suggestions? I'm sorry. I can't keep walking around with turkeys attached to me. I have a plan. We can use the thingamajigs. Hamilton, find me four sticks about this high. Okay, Maggie. You aren't going to start knitting again. Of course not. But I have a plan, and these thingamajigs are an important part of it. There you go. Good. Follow me. Hamilton, grab hold of this end. We're going to wrap this around the sticks and make a fence around the turkeys. OK. But what about the beast? Yes. What about me? Get ready to slip away. Hurry, beast. Hurry, Hamilton. Climb on. Get going, beast. We have to get away before they get 
loose. That thingamajig was useful after all. Yes, and we still have one left. That's right, Hamilton. And take good care of it, because you never know when you might need another thingamajig. <laughs> The Kindly Giant. Hi, Maggie. Great googly moogly. Hello, Max, Zach, Oscar. Aren't you going to say hello to Uncle Ferocious? Maggie, I don't think they remember me. Sure they do. <laughs> Hi, little Oscar. <laughs> Where's Hamilton? I'm here. <gasps> you brought the triplets. Kitchy coo. <laughs> Maggie, what are we going to do today? I thought we'd visit the garden of the kindly giant. See, it's right here. Hmm, I don't know if we should, Maggie. I hear the giant is awfully big. Nonsense. He's called the Kindly Giant. I think maybe the beast is right, Maggie. Uh, especially since we're taking the little ones with us. They might get scared. But he's kind. Impossible. We'll be fine. Come on, it'll be an adventure. We must be here. I see something I hardly believe. Oh, let me see, Maggie. What is it? Oh, Maggie, do you think it's real? Is what real? It sure looks real. What? Beast, what are you shouting about? <sighs> Never mind. Beast, the triplets are getting restless. Hand them down to me, Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> Blueberries! <laughs> Maggie, it's almost as big as me. Great googly moogly. I believe I'll try one. Mmm, <laughs> the ruthless. <laughs> Oh. Oh. I wonder how many pies that one blueberry would make. Looking at that blueberry, I think the giant must be huge. Maybe we should get going. Don't be afraid, Hamilton. I'll protect you. I'm not afraid. I just don't believe in looking for trouble. Where are the triplets? They were here a minute ago. Well, they can't be far. Max! Zach! Oscar! Max, did you say hat? Hat! 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 <laughs> yes, and fine hats they are. Now let's stay together. <gasps> Look, Maggie. I think this strawberry is even bigger than the blueberry. I'm going to eat one of these strawberries. Mmm, mmm. That's even more delicious than the blueberry. <laughs> Don't go too far. Stay where I can see you. Maggie, do you think we'll see the kindly giant? Great googly moogly, Hamilton. I said I'll protect you. 
Really, Beast? I'm not afraid. I'd kind of like to meet the old boy. Green tangerines, look at the triplets. <laughs> <laughs> Come along. Let's see what's on the other side of that hill. I don't believe it. That is a monstrous pie. It looks to me like we're going to see the kindly giant any minute. Why do you say that? Because someone has already poured his glass of milk. Tumbling teddy bears, look at the triplets. <laughs> <laughs> we better get down this hill and get them out of that pie before the giant shows up. I think it's blueberries. Beast, will you please stop thinking about the pie and try to figure out how we can rescue the triplets? They don't look like they want to be rescued. <laughs> Max, Zach, Oscar, come over here. We have to go home. I'm going to eat this pie. Ah. What was that? I didn't hear anything. Oh no, it's the giant! Oh my! Ah, who is sitting in my pie? <laughs> Hello! Mr. Giant! They're my cousins, Max, Zack, and Oscar. I'm so sorry they ruined your pie. Please don't be angry. Yes, please, Mr. Giant. Oh, we just want to be on our way. This is Maggie. That's Hamilton. And I am the ferocious beast. <gasps> Here they are. <laughs> Safe and sound, although a bit sticky. <laughs> Thank you, sir. We must be on our way. And once again, I'm sorry about your pie. <laughs> no harm done, Maggie. I'll bake another one. Oh, may I suggest a bit more butter in the crust? Uh, thank you, Hamilton. <laughs> I'll try that. Come on, Hamilton. Let's go. Goodbye, Mr. Giant. Goodbye, little ones. Come and see me again. <laughs> Ha 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 